हॅलो स्टुडंट दिस इज प्रोफेसर सागर मोहिते फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉंग्रॅच्युलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू दॅट यू हॅव कम्प्लिटेड युअर ग्रॅज्युएशन अँड पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएशन आफ्टर कम्प्लिशन ऑफ ग्रॅज्युएशन अँड पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएशन यू आर गोईंग टू अप्लाय फॉर द न्यू कोर्सेस फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह एक्झामिनेशन फॉर द जॉब ॲट दॅट टाइम यू रिक्वायर द पर्सेंटेज ऑफ युअर ग्रॅज्युएशन ऑर द पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएशन बट नाव ॲज पर द युनिव्हर्सिटी गाईडलाईन एव्हरी युनिव्हर्सिटी इज इशुईंग द ग्रेड कार्ड इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ द मार्कशीट ओके ऑन अ अँड ऑन अ ग्रेड कार्ड यू विल नॉट एबल टू फाईंड द पर्सेंटेज ऑफ युअर ग्रॅज्युएशन ऑर पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएशन ओके अँड इन युअर ग्रेड कार्ड यू विल फाईंड सी जी पी ए ऑर सी जी पी आय ओके सी जी पी एर सी जी पी आय यू विल फाईंड ऑन युअर ग्रेड कार्ड सो हाव विल यू हाव विल यू कॅल्क्युलेट युअर पर्सेंटेज फ्रॉम द सी जी पी एर सी जी पी आय दॅट फॉर्म्युला इज गिवन इन द युनिव्हर्सिटी वेबसाईट ओके दिस इज मुंबई युनिव्हर्सिटी वेबसाईट सी जी पी ए द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ द सी जी पी ए इज द क्युमुलेटिव्ह ग्रेड पॉईंट ॲव्हरेज अँड द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ द सी जी पी आय इज क्युमुलेटिव्ह ग्रेड पॉईंट इंडेक्स ओके फॉर कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ क्युमुलेटिव्ह ग्रेड पॉईंट इंडेक्स यू विल यूज दिस फॉर्म्युला फॉर द कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ सी जी पी आय टू पर्सेंटेज ओके बट बिफोर दॅट यू हॅव टू फाईंड आउट दॅट is you are from 7 grading point system or 10 grading point system okay for that for that you will help this chart to find out whether you, your grade card is 10 grading point system or in 7 grading point system okay uh, in your grade card if a plus b plus grade is showing at that time uh, definitely you are from 10 grading point because in 7 grading point there is only uh, this grade that is o a b c d and e and finally f grade okay and if you are in 10 grading point there are extra two grades actually a plus grade and b plus grade okay you can also find difference in the grade and the grade point in 10 grading system you will find o grade for 10 grade point A plus grade for 9 grade point, A grade for 8 grade point, uh, 8 grade point, B plus grade for 7 grade point, B grade for 6 grade point, okay, C grade for 5 grade point and D grade for 4 grade point, okay, but if you see in 7 grading point system, you will get O grade when grade point is 7, okay, this is the difference actually in uh, uh, 7 grading point and 6, uh, 10 grading point, you can uh, verify your grade card by using this actually chart uh, if you have six grade point and you have a grade at that time you are definitely from the seven grading point system because uh, when you are in 10 grading point you will find eight grade point at that time uh, you you will have a grade okay but in seven grading point you will have six grade point when you have a grade okay this is the difference you just uh, Uh, see this uh, both the actually comparative chart of 10 grading point and 7 grading point and uh, you can find out your uh, you can find out that uh, your uh, your grade card or uh, your mark sheet is from which grading point that is from 10 grading point or 7 grading point okay on that basis you can find out that your uh, your grade card is from which grading point that is 10 grading point or 7 grading point if you are uh, if you are from 10 grading point or uh, if you are in 7 grading point at that time you will have to directly calculate your percentage by using earlier formula that is uh, uh, which formula you are using at the time of calculating uh, percentage in 12th or 10th standard okay that uh, total of your marks divided uh, marks on divided by total of your marks into 100 that formula you can use for calculation of percentage if you are in 7 grading point okay for 7 grading system the percentage shall be calculated on the basis of percentage of actual marks obtained by the candidate okay when when you are in 7 grading point at that time you will have to use earlier formula that you were using at the time of calculation of percentage in the 10th or 12th standard 
okay that total of marks on divided by total of marks into 100 okay but if you are in 10 grading point at that time you will have to use this formula if on your mark sheet CGPA is mentioned at that time you will have to use this formula percentage is equal to 7.1 into CGPA plus 11 and if you are in 10 grading point and on your mark sheet CGPI is mentioned at that time you will have to use this formula that is 7.25 into CGPI plus 11 okay formula is same the difference is that in case of CGPI 7.25 is used for multiplying CGPI and in case of CGPA, you will have to use 7.1 for multiplying CGPA, okay? And plus 11 is addition to that formula, okay? By this formula, you can calculate your percentage, okay? So, this is actually some information about the CGPA and CGPA. CGPA means cumulative grade point index and CGPA is cumulative grade point average, okay? okay thank you for watching full video share my uh, share this video to your friends subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much